Well, now that the boundaries of the site are in and the curbs lines representing the roadway edges are in, it's time to think about layers. If you move to the stack here or go to the appropriate drop down menu and go to layer details, you can see I've created a number of layers here and I've got my roads on their own layer and it's on at the moment. The scanned layer is on, that's the layer that the scanned image is on. So if I turn off my roads layer now, the red lines disappear and there's literally nothing on the drawing. So let's turn our roads layer back on. I'll just cancel from there and it's easy to go to the uh, layer order stack because this little box can sit here and we can just turn layers on and off at will. So we want the roads layer on. So there's our roads layer. The allotments layer, I've also put on, I've created an allotments layer and I can turn those on. I'll turn off the scan layer for the moment. Can you see now the red lines are the roadways and the boundary edges of the site and the allotments themselves are the magenta layers. So we're starting to sort things out in a logical way as far as this drawing is concerned. I'll turn the layers one back on so that we can move on. Each of these allotments is connected to a septic system and again because this is starting to get more complex I've now got a septic layer which I'll turn on and I'll zoom in a little so that uh, you know, close our box here and just zoom in a little. So we have a, a septic line midway through each allotment collecting at this point into a, a spreader tank, holding tank, and then being pumped out into the septic spray field. So I've created a layer called septic there. Whatever I draw on that layer, I've set to an orange-brown color. So if I choose the line command and I draw, you can see I can easily draw a series of brown lines on that layer. But we want to change the line type, and line types are controlled up here in this box here. And it's possible to load different line types. I can load a dashed line type for the sake of argument. And when I draw now with a dashed line type, the line type is dashed, L for line, and I draw, I can get some lines that will show as a dash pattern. Nothing appears to have changed, but if you, or if you select with I select, this line which does give the dashed pattern and look at the properties, you'll see that the line type scale for that line has been set at 10. So if I was wanting these lines to be dashed, given that particular line type there, let's select all four of these, and I'll right click and go to properties, and I'll set the line type scale at 10 and OK it. And now we should see a dashed line at least the two of them that I managed to change, show a dashed line. I'll erase, whoops, I will erase those because that's part of it. Notice that I, when I try and click there, it's not easy to pick those lines, although if I am careful, I can get right on top of them and, and do select them in that way. But the fact that we've now got things on layers, if you had a problem in selecting them, it will be a simple matter to go here turn off the scan layer and now we can use the normal selection tools and erase those and then turn the scan layer back on. So I've drawn with a dashed line type pattern on a layer called septic the um, uh, drainage lines that will connect up to the sewer system. So can you see we're building up um, a new CAD drawing based on the hand sketch where things are separated out into layers and that can make things uh, relatively easy in, uh, in dealing and handling the particular drawing. You can see there's still quite a lot of other layers to go, and we'll deal with as, those as we go along.